Alrighty, as you can see by the standings, we are nowhere to be found. Uh, the Chicago Bulls all the way at the 14th seed at 17 and 34. Somehow not the worst team in the league even. Uh, the Wizards and the Kings somehow hold those two crowns. Um, the Wizards kind of make sense. But we're currently 17 and 34. Uh, and if you missed last episode, be sure to go check that out. Uh, it'll be at the end of the video. If not, it'll be in the top right of the screen. But we traded basically everyone on this team besides Lonzo Ball, who should not be playing. I don't think he's played this season yet anyways. I, I, do I, is he in the rotation? He's not. All right. So I'm not going to have him hurt, but he's not playing this season. He's going to sit on the bench. Uh, but yeah, as you see, uh, this team is bad. Um, if you missed the trades, like I said, go check it last episode. But we have Okongwu, who is probably going to win most improved player. Uh, Kobe White, also in the running for that. He might actually win it. Uh, but Okongwu is way more efficient. Um, we have Duncan Robinson, Kyle Lowry, last year of his deal. He's actually having a really good season. Uh, Mo Bamba, Gordon Hayward, Patrick Williams, Io. And the team's bad. The team is really bad. If we go look at the player stats, um, Kobe White's leading us in scoring. Okongwu, second. Patrick Williams is very inefficient. I don't plan on bringing him back. If I do, I am going to trade him. I don't see him as a part of this team in the future. He doesn't progress good in 2K. He's shooting awful. Don't really want him here. Uh, Duncan, two-year deal. He's most likely here to stay. I don't see a team pick taking his contract. If you don't know, this is going to be a mostly realistic rebuild. I believe I re-signed Gordon Hayward um, to a new deal. Yeah. So after the season, we make an 8 mil and then 7 mil. Um, he's 33, so he's going to regress, but he's having such a good year. I figured I re-sign him. It'd be dumb, and for that type of money, if he stays around the 77 range, it'd be dumb not to um keep him. Um, Io, 11 points a game, three rebounds, three assists, nearly a steal on off efficiency. Um, we're gonna try. We need to try and get his efficiency up. Um, he's on a three-year deal, a pretty solid contract, but he could be a trade piece later on down the line. Mo Bamba, I really like as a backup center. Uh, Dalen Terry. He's shooting pretty decent. Not good enough, though. Um, and then, obviously, Lowry, Seth Curry, all of them. So, uh, with 17 and 34, I believe we own our first-round pick this season, right? Yes, we own it this season. We have the Blazers this year, but it's lottery protected. We do not have our pick next year or in 2027. So, uh, that's tough. But we do have the Hornets and the Heat. Oh, we just have the Hornets 2027 and the Heat. So we only have two of our picks in 2024 and 2026. By 2027, I expect to be a playoff team. All right, that is the year I expect to be a playoff team, so I'm not worried. 2025, not having our own first-round pick might be tough. I don't think this team's making the playoffs next season. How are the Blazers doing? It's a lot of protected. They're the 10th seed. All right, so if they miss out, uh, we'll get their pick next year. So maybe it, it kind of works out. Um, so we're going to simulate to the end of the season, and I'll see you all at the awards as we're starting to win games. End of season awards. Luka Doncic is your NBA MVP. 31 points, 9 rebounds, 10 assists. We'll round up. A steal on 50, 40, nearly 80%. Wambanyama is your rookie of the year. 19 points, 9 rebounds, 2 and a half blocks, and a steal. Did not shoot the most efficient. Um, Tyler Hero, 6th man of the year, once again, averaging... Almost identical numbers to his actual sixth man of the year season. Uh, 20 points, four and a half rebounds, four assists, 46% from the field, 40% from three, nearly 50, 40, 90. Well, not really on the field goal percentage. Uh, Giannis is your DPOI. Kobe White is your most improved player. Uh, he is probably our cornerstone going forward. He's not the player we're going to build around, but at this current moment, he is our best player without a doubt. Him and Okongwu are the two building blocks. Wins most improved. Hopefully, that will give him an attribute boost um, in the offseason. Uh, Deep Book is the clutch player of the year. Eric Spolstra of the Heat finally wins a coach of the year, and they win executive of the year. Here are the all-NBA teams. Jimmy Butler makes the third team. Al Caruso, I forgot we traded Levine and Caruso over to the Heat. Caruso averaged four points, four rebounds, five assists, a steal and a half, and a block. Those are insane numbers for a guy who might have been coming off the bench. I don't know. He might have been starting. Um, Shea makes an all-defensive team. That's interesting. All-rookie teams. We have no one, obviously. Uh, let's go check how the players we traded did. So we know Levine went to the Heat. They were the one seed. Yeah, they are starting Caruso. Uh, he averaged 24 a game. Really good. This team's insane. I don't see anyone beating that team. Uh, we traded DeRozan to the Hornets. 
because they were the only team that was willing to take him, and they were nearly as bad as us, only two-game difference, so DeMar is probably leaving. He had an okay season. I really thought him and LaMelo could make some sort of noise, but they did not. Um, And then that's really it. Um, I forget where I traded Vucevic. Oh, Vucevic, I think I traded to the Hawks, who were the two-seed. Uh, yeah, it, it was a three-team deal. They ended up being the two. So everyone really did well in this trade, in the trades, but the um Hornets, who I think I even gave a first-round pick. So, I mean, I guess they are chilling. But the Hawks end up as a two-seed. Um, the Mavericks benefited because they got Clint Capella in that three-team, in that three-deal trade. Uh, they end up as the fourth seed, and the Heat ends up as the one seed. So we're going to simulate the playoffs. Um, I want to see. I'm a Heat fan, so I want to see if the 2K actually gives them love. They make it to the finals, and we have a finals rematch of the Heat and the Lakers, and the Heat <laughs> end up winning the NBA championship. Jimmy Butler, finals MVP, 25 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 steals, and a block. And he shot 45% from 3. Yeah, I please, I need it. They win by, by 5. They win the series in 5, 1 by 4 points. Levine and Butler just dominating. That team's going to be a problem. Player retirements. Kyle Lowry ends up retiring. Um, so we're kind of chilling. Uh, Kevin Love retires with another championship. He goes down now officially since he's retiring. He has never missed the finals as long as he's been in the playoffs. Every time he's been in the playoffs, he's been in the finals. Um, we're going to let everyone retire. There's no one here I want to override. Um, staff retirements go right ahead. Jersey retirements. Lowry gets his number retired. Um, increase salary cap 10 mil. Yeah, go right ahead. Fine by me. Draft lottery. Uh, I saw our pick at 14. I think that's the Blazers. They were projected number one. All right, so we must have won the tiebreaker. Um, that number 14 pick is going to end up going to the Blazers. Uh, and it does, obviously. So we'll get their pick next year. Um, so if there's any movement, I'll let you know. Bro, the Celtics didn't make the playoffs? The Celtics were bad. They had the 11th pick. That's kind of crazy. I don't know what this simulation was where the Celtics are a near bottom 10 team or right, made to the top seven. No changes. And it's going to continue that way. The Utah Jazz get the seventh overall pick. Sixth overall pick. Will it be going to the Magic? It does. Top five. No changes so far. The Thunder projected number five. And they are going to keep the fifth overall pick. This is not where we want to fall. Do we? The Spurs... Keep number four. We will are guaranteed a top three pick. So far, no changes in the lottery. And the Wizards, I believe, fall down to three. It's between the Hornets and the Bulls. The Hornets get number two. And your Chicago Bulls have been gifted the number one overall pick in the 2024 NBA draft. We will be drafting our next generational talent. So, I mean, I guess the Hornets kind of win in that trade. They got DeMar, who's on a one-year deal. They got rid of Gordon Hayward's contract, and they get the number two overall pick. So nothing really changed. Um, I think that is our only pick, I believe. Yes, we will have the Blazers pick next year. Sadly, not really sadly, we're going to fire Billy Donovan. I said I let him ride out this year. He will not be our coach in the next season. We're going full rebuild. Same thing with uh, Mo Cheeks. Your Cheeks, get out of here. I want to hire a real, a real person. And email Udoka. I'm down. I'm gonna offer email Udoka a deal to um, come be the new head coach of the Chicago Bulls and then assistant head coach. Um, let's see. Let's see who is here that I feel like could be pretty solid. We're gonna offer Stephen Dawkins. Yeah, why not? Let's see. Email Udoka and Stephen um, Dawkins sign. Email Udoka will now be our head coach. All right, that's fine by me. NBA draft. NBA draft time. I didn't even really look at this class. I didn't even look to see who is in this class. Anyone like 10 out of 10? This shoot a 6'10", 18-year-old shooting guard. And his ceiling is Michael Jordan. How fitting. No weaknesses. Looks extremely smooth on the court. Makes it look easy. From an athletic standpoint, very skilled shooter from the mid-range and creative ball handling skills. Help him get out of sticky situations. He averaged 29, 6, and 5 with two steals and a block in college on amazing shooting. He's got an A plus 3 and A perimeter defense. Oh, we got we got handed a good one here, ladies and gentlemen. 
I think he's just the unanimous number one. Not a single source has him going below number one. Lewis Ward, welcome. Oh, I got to actually draft him. Hold on. Uh, Lewis Ward, welcome to the Chicago Bulls. He'll be rocking number seven. We got our superstar. And with the number two overall pick, let's see who the Hornets, they trade it. Number two in Rogier for Jalen Brunson and Mitchell Robinson. Okay, very interesting trade for the Knicks. I don't know if they made the playoffs, but it looks like they're trying to hit the reset button, and they're going to draft Vin Patterson, Brunson's replacement. Number three overall pick, they're going to draft Brett Wilcox, small forward out of the G League. Um, number four is going to be Pete Kent, small forward out of Boston College, will be teaming up with Victor Wimbanyama. The Thunder, with the fifth pick, are going to select Derek Jen um, Jen Jenkins, I can't speak, from Virginia, point guard, another one. They just drafted Casey Wallace last year. The Magic are going to trade the sixth overall pick in John Isaac for John Collins in a first round pick. The Timberwolves, not the Timberwolves, the Jazz move up and draft Jared Toscano for Florida State, a point guard. They kind of needed a point guard. Um, Art Tem, but, um, okay, we're just going to simulate to the end of the draft because these names are getting insane. He's only a 77. He's not even the highest overall in the draft. That's kind of his. This He's technically the best player in the draft. 78 overall, five badges, going number 10, teaming up with Victor Wembanyama. Oh, boy, that, that's that's tough. That's real tough. I'm solid. We got Lewis Ward. He's projected to be Michael Jordan. Uh, he's got an 89.3 straight out of the gate. Um, I don't know if we can. What's his um, what's his potential? A+. Plus. I'll take it. I will take it. The Knicks kind of folded. I ain't going to lie. Lewis Ward, we did need a shooting guard, so that does help. Um, Dalen Terry will accept his option. Terry Taylor, we are not. Um, qualifying offers. We'll offer the qualifying to Patrick Williams. If someone's dumb enough to offer him a deal, I don't think we match it. I'm not going to lie. Okay, he's, not he's actually not expecting that much money. So he might bring back Patrick Williams. I will not lie. Is that just say LeBron James is a free agent? And he might be going to uh, the team he owns, the Toronto Raptors. So right now, we're looking like Lonzo Ball will be back. So Kobe White might be slid, sliding to the bench, which is kind of the role I like him in as a six-man. Um, Lewis Ward will be starting for us. We have Io coming off the bench. Uh, Gordon Hayward, Duncan Robinson, not bad. Uh, okay, so we really need a power forward. Patrick Williams, obviously. But is there a young guy we can take like a, a fly, like a Miles Bridges? I'm willing to give a deal. Um, his off-the-court issue is obviously an issue. Um, but I'm willing to take a fly on him. Because I really see Patrick Williams more as either a small forward or just coming off the bench. Um, any big men we can move over? Not really. I'm going to offer Miles Bridges a deal. Um, he doesn't want much. So I feel like we give him a flat 2 plus 1, $12 million dollars. That's an offer I'm willing to give him. I am definitely willing to give him that much money. Uh, we don't need much, and we're his only offer. And we're most likely we are going to get him. We're going to keep the rights on Patrick Williams, Mo Bamba. Um, yeah, I'm very okay with this. Patrick Williams, we're not getting rid of him. And we are going to sign Miles Bridges. That's going to be our big signing. Uh, LeBron James ends up going to the Raptors. Uh, Kawhi Leonard goes back to the Clippers. Paul George ends up going to the Lakers like he promised. Uh, Tyrese goes back. DeRozan ends up signing with the Pacers, who we tried trading him to, but we just couldn't make a deal. Um, Claxton goes back. Siakam teams up with LeBron, staying in uh, Toronto. Klay Thompson stays with the Warriors. Valanciunas goes to the Wizards. Quickly stays with the Mavericks. Uh, he did get traded there midseason, so then I don't know what the Knicks are really doing. Uh, Buddy Hill goes to the Rockets with Spencer Dinwiddie. Bruce Brown goes back to the... Yeah, back to where it all started with the Pistons. Obviously, we get Miles Bridges. Uh, we're most likely, because we don't need really anything else besides bringing back Patrick Williams. I'm not going to lie. All right, we're going to... We offered Jackson Hayes a contract. Three years, 12 mil with the team option. He's going to accept... Oh, uh, what? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We might be able to get both. There's a chance we can get both. So, Patrick Williams... Uh, 
We'll put team option on that, 13 mil. We don't want to lose out on um, Jackson Hayes here. Uh, honestly, I kind of want him. Um, let's see. Why is actually I might take a? Fl oh, he wants a lot of money though. Same thing. Like Precious is a guy I'm very willing to take a flyer on. Uh, one of these really young guys. Wiseman wants just too much money for his production. There, there's just no reason why we're gonna get Patrick Williams. Can we still afford Wiseman? I don't think we're gonna be able to afford Wiseman now. And we're probably going to dump him to the Thunder for a, like, second-round pick or something. Like, give, give us this Grizzlies pick. And we'll even give you... We, no. You know, I'll just take Rashawn Holmes. There we go. That should open up enough money to go and get James Wiseman. Uh, I don't expect anyone else. Yep. We get James Wiseman. And that is it. That is our free agency. Uh, our team's looking like Lonzo Ball, Kobe White, uh, Lewis Ward, Io DeSumo, uh, Gordon Hayward, Duncan Robinson, uh, and Dale and Terry. Uh, Miles Bridges, Patrick Williams, and Okongwu, and James Wiseman. Not much interior defense on this team. I'm not going to lie. Player progression. Let's see. Gordon Hayward only drops two. That makes me very happy about that contract then. Uh, that he only drops two spots. Uh, Lonzo goes up two. This will be his first full season. We'll see how he does. Um, he's apparently uneasy, even though he didn't play last season. Uh, probably because he was healthy and he didn't play. Okongwu, uh, Bridges goes up two. Williams goes up four. Wiseman goes up three. Um... Kobe White only goes up one, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, Dale and Terry goes up three. Duncan goes down. He's probably out of the rotation. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and then we're going to simulate to this next season. We only use auto-generated rookies uh, in this series. I'm not using actual uh, rookie classes. So let's go look at what this rotation is possibly going to look like. Lonzo Ball, Lewis Ward, Gordon Hayward, Patrick Williams, Okongwu. That's a tall backcourt. 6'6", six, six, Lonzo, 6'10", six, Lewis Ward. Uh, do I want, I think I'm going to start Williams at the three and Bridges at the four. I feel like, and then have Hayward off the bench. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Uh, so we are definitely going to do that. Apparently we have Cameron Payne on the team now. Uh, so we are going to move Brid um, Patrick Williams position to, or do we want Bridges to run the small forward? Because Williams... If I uh, will have Bridges run the power forward, I feel like he's more of a natural power forward. Uh, and then we'll move. Is there someone we can move over? Not really. There's not really anyone we can move over the power forward that would be like comfortable there. So maybe that's a trade we make. Uh, we move someone to power forward, or we trade for a power forward later on in the season. That's probably where maybe we dump Duncan Robinson. We'll see. Um, other than that, I think the rotation will be. Like this, Lonzo Ball, Lewis Ward, Patrick Williams, Bridges, and Okongwu. James Wiseman, Gordon Hayward, Io DeSumo, and Kobe White off the bench. Cameron Payne will not be getting minutes. Um, I could give those minutes to Dalen Terry because we do need a backup power forward. I will have him most likely run that. I want Kobe White, though, as my sixth man. I'm not going to lie. Uh, DeSumo is not going to get many minutes. Kobe White is definitely going to be my sixth man without a doubt. Uh, I want him getting at least like 28 minutes a game. Uh, they want Lewis Ward. We'll have him go down 20, 32. Patrick Williams, 28. Miles Bridges, 28. Okongwu. I want Okongwu playing near most minutes on this team. Uh, Lonzo Ball will have at 28. And then we got 10 minutes to work with. Probably give those to Dale and Terry for that backup power for a role. And I like it. Um, Gordon Hayward's minutes might go down depending on how he's playing. But I really, really like this team. I'm not going to lie. Emil Doka as our coach. I'll leave everything the way it is. Uh, system proficiency is balanced. That seems like the best option, which it is. Now we'll go mess with tendencies and we'll simulate a few games. Like Lonzo Ball shot tendency is only a 54. Let's get that up to a 75. Touch, he needs to be up skyrocketing. Like I want him hand on the ball the most. And then what's his three point? It's okay, it's pretty high. His three point's actually really high. I want to know what his dish to open man is though. His dish to open man is only a 60. We're upping that up to like an 80. We're going to up that up to, to an 80. And then other shot tendencies. Okongwu is fine where it is. Uh, Bridges will up probably to around 76. Patrick Williams, I'm dipping down. Uh, I don't really need you scoring the ball that much anymore. Because we have scorers on this team. Wiseman's at a 69. Nice. We'll keep it as is. I want Gordon Hayward to go up a little bit. Um, what's his three-point rating? He shot pretty solid last season. A 79. Not bad, actually. I don't know what his uh, tendency is for threes, though. He shot 36%. 59. I'm going to lower it a little bit. 
Like, I don't want him just launching threes, especially with a spot-up three being at an 80-something. Same thing with the sumo. This is why their um, efficiency gets hit so hard, because they have random tendencies that are just skyrocketed. Um, so, we'll keep that as is, Gordon Hayward's. Uh, Io, I'm going to turn your tendency down. I do want you handing the ball a bit more. Lewis Ward, I'm going to leave you as is. Kobe White, I still want you high, so we'll keep you at 90. And then Dalen Terry, I got to move you over to a power forward. I know it's going to destroy you overall. Yeah, you go down to a 73, but it's for the minutes, buddy. It's for so we can even out the minutes. So let's simulate a few games. Our first game is against the Celtics. Actually, first, let me do the uh, training. Now we're good enough to simulate, and we win by four points in the first game of the season. Bridges drops 27. Okongu, 23-15 with three blocks. Lewis Ward in his first ever NBA game, 20 points, 4 rebounds, 10 assists. Lonzo in his first game back had 19, 8, and 7. Patrick Williams had an amazing... Yeah, this was just an all-around fantastic game for us. Uh, let's simulate this game against the Blazers. We end up dominating them. Lewis Ward, 29. His first two games, he's off to a great start. Lonzo Ball, 19 assists. Okongwu? This team might be better than we think. We're only going to simulate the first week. And we are 3-0 to start off this season. And Lewis Ward is looking like the real deal right now. The current player stats, 25 points from Lewis Ward, 20 and 11 from Okongwu, 18 for Bridges, 17 off the bench from Kobe White on amazing efficiency, uh, 16, 8, and 12 from Lonzo, 13 and 7 from Patrick Williams, and uh, 9 from Gordon Hayward off the bench. Yeah, this team's looking damn good i'm not gonna lie but i'm gonna leave it there leave a like if you guys enjoy subscribe if you guys are new gg